Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Black Clover video, and this is another Black Clover theory in a way, and that is that it's a theory of our luck, Voltia, and Charlotte Rosalie, brother and sister. Now, there is evidence for this, and honestly, there is a decent amount of evidence for this, so this is not just some crackpot theory, not some conspiracy theory, but yeah, th that's what I'm going to talk about today. And one thing is that if this is true, this would likely debunk the previous theory I had of Luck being the son of Thor. Now I'm just going to add one more thing that I found that could actually add to that theory of Luck being Thor's son before I get into this. And that is that when we get the flashback of what the elves did to help the humans, it took several elves, I believe it was like between four and six elves, to create a thundercloud create lightning and have rain and that's four to six elves or whatever where they have different magic types and it took them to do that whereas elf luck wufuru was able to create a thundercloud and lightning just with his own magic type he has lightning magic not thundercloud magic or cloud magic so he was able to create a thundercloud in black clover in the manga when fighting Magna and Vanessa. So, this will include manga spoiler, guys. Uh, yeah, some manga spoilers, not too much, but basically, that's what I'm gonna talk about. But let's get into this theory of why Luck and Charlotte could be brothers. Now, this is really all stemming from the fact that Luck's elf, Lufuru, and Charlotte's elf, Sharla, or brother and sister as elves. In the past, they were brother and sister, and this is, you know, shown, this is proven, and even when Charlotte was about to leave, she's like, you know, I wish I could have met with my brother while we were in our physical bodies. So, yes, Sharla and Lefuru are brother and sisters. Now, does this mean that Charlotte and Luck are brother and sisters? Because when Gauche and Marie became elves, and to Droit and Ekra, they were brother and sister elves as well. Now, before I get to the cons of, you know, kind of detracting this theory, I'm also going to talk about the other things. And this would explain a lot of about Luck. Basically, we just know he has a mother. She was kind of abandoned by the father. And it would make sense. Charlotte's a noble, which means that Luck would just be the bastard son of a noble. And that's why he was kind of abandoned by his father, because his father is probably just sleeping around with some girl and then had to abandon it because, you know, that's what, you know, guys would do back then and guys still do today. But anyways, this would explain why Luck has a high magic amount for a commoner, a four out of five, and why he is a very, very powerful character in the series. That would partially explain it. Now, nobles have higher magic power they're just better overall and if you guys don't know if you are a noble or if you're just have high inborn ability you will actually get more spells and better spells more often so that'll explain again partially why luck is so powerful now of course it's also because he has a messed up childhood and loved to fight and therefore would be training via fighting and that's why he's partially so strong so basically the evidence that really just supports this also is that they look alike they both have light hair basically blonde hair they both have light colored eyes blue eyes or blue green eyes so they both do look similar as well if you put them next to each other you could see why they are brother and sister or at least half brother and half sister that's really all the evidence here you have the fact that lufuru and sharla were brother and sister you have the fact that both luck and charlotte look alike we have the fact that Luck is a very powerful character despite his mother being a commoner and his father being an unknown. And if his father was Charlotte's father, who is a noble, it would make sense why he was abandoned by his father. And we also do know that Gauche and Marie, when they were turned into elves, that their elves, Droid and Ekra, were also brother and sister. But let's talk about first why this might not be the case. Why Luck and Charlotte, just because their elf counterparts were brother and sister, that doesn't mean that they are brother and sister. Now, I do like this theory. But honestly, I will put my bias. I do still think that it's possible that Luck is the son of Thor. I do think that's something that could actually come into play later in the future. And I'm not saying that's likely at all. I'd actually probably put it at you know less than a 20% chance that Luck is the son of Thor. But honestly, let's talk about all the, the cons against this theory of why luck and charlotte don't necessarily have to be brothers and sisters based on the evidence and well we do know that not every single sibling of an elf was actually brought back to life 
we do know that Longris became an elf, but his brother Finral did not become an elf. And Patri and Ratri were cousins. Ratri is Longris's elf. We have no proof that William and Longris are cousins. So if an elf can have a brother, or if a human can have a brother that's an elf, that doesn't mean that that just makes it a detracting part of the theory. That doesn't necessarily disprove it on its own, but I think that, you know, Finral not turning into an elf while Longris did, and that just kind of shows that this reincarnation magic is not 100% concrete. Like, yeah, it might bring you back as brother and sister if you do exist, but that doesn't mean that just because the elven counterparts were brother and sister means that the human counterparts are. Also, this doesn't really make sense magic type-wise. Based on every single person in the series that we have brother and sister counterparts for, every single time, their magic is somewhat similar. Gauche and Marie, Gauche has reflection or mirror magic. Marie has eye magic, which you use your eyes to look in the mirrors. Like it's, it's, it's somewhat similar magic types. And then let's also talk about Nozel and his sibling. They have their mother, who had steel magic, and their father, who had water magic. Likely, I'm guessing. Noel and Solid had water magic, Nebra had mist magic, and, and Nozel had mercury magic, which, although mercury is not, it's not water, it still took the liquid parts of water, and it was basically kind of like mixing water with steel. Not necessarily, it's just the derivatives of the magic type. Fagolion, Leopold, and Miro Leona all have the same exact magic. They all have fire magic. Mimosa and Kirsch, they both have plant-esque magic. And basically what happened is that how Mimosa and Kirsch came to be is that a son or daughter of the Silva family and a son or daughter of the Vermilion family came together and they produced Mimosa and Kirsch. And also maybe the two most different types of magic is between Niege and Baro. They're the, really the only siblings with two you know, different magic types, that's snow and mud, but they're still not that different from each other, as when it's snowfall in the winter, that will turn the ground into mud very often, and so we don't even necessarily know if these are actually, if these guys are brothers in the sense, we don't know if they are actually the same, like from the same family, they look super different in every sense of the word, they have different hair color, different eye color, different body types, different height, so... That means they could be brothers in an orphan sense, or I guess half-brother or whatever, but even then their magic types are still somewhat similar enough, and it would just be an outlier. And then you have Finral and Longris, who both have spatial magic, but just different kinds of spatial magic. Finral is on the more defensive or travel, Longris has offensive spatial magic, which is very powerful. So basically you have all these brothers and sisters who have either the same magic types or very similar, but Luck has lightning and Charlotte has rose magic. So lightning, rose, two very different types of magic. We have not seen a brother and sister or a sibling, I guess, counterparts having very different types of magic. So that would be a detraction to the theory. Now that's really all I can think of what can detract from the theory is that basically Finral did not turn into an elf, even though Longris did. Even so, Finral and Longris were brother, but that doesn't mean that there was an elf counterpart. Also, there's the fact that Patri and Ratri were cousins, yet William and Longris have no evidence to be cousins in real life, or in the manga of Black Clover. And then the different magic types, like Luck, Lightning, and, and Charlotte's Rose magic being way different from each other, that's very uncharacteristic from what we've seen from other siblings' magic types. So again, I'm not saying this isn't true, but just because Gauche and Marie were brother and sister as elves as well, doesn't mean that Sharla and Lufuru and Charlotte and Luck have to have that same exact thing as well. Because, like I said, Ben and Longris did not both turn into elves. But anyways, that's really it for this theory, guys. I do like it. I think it would be interesting to have Luck be a noble. Honestly, though, with the teasing of all the gods in Black Clover, I think it would be much cooler to have Luck be a son of Thor. But, again, I'm not saying really which theory is probably more likely. Honestly, okay, I'll say, Luck and Charlotte being brother and sisters probably is a bit more likely than Luck being the son of Thor. But, again, there's also things that go against it. But, yeah, this is a theory I was going to do last week, but then the whole Sister Lily thing popped up. And this is a more basic theory. I have a bunch of other theories coming out, guys, of stuff to do with the Spade Kingdom. And, basically, so far, what I got is that 
Well, I'll just let you know. That'll be, probably be a video next week of what the Spade Kingdom is, what's going to be in there, and what to expect. And that's going to be a theory. But anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts of this video down below. Please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you guys all have an amazing day. Plus...